Hello and welcome to the South Lanarkshire Refugee Digital Climate Change Workshop, where we talk about climate change and how to reduce the effects of climate change, or we talk about everything we can do to make our world a better place, to make our world a much more safer place and a greener place. And today we'll be looking, we'll be talking more about uh, climate change, uh, waste management, and other things that we can do. And I'm joined today by our wonderful researcher, uh, who's who's also a fashion designer, and she's uh, facilitated one of the workshops here before. And you know, due to popular demand, you guys did said I should make sure I bring her back because you enjoyed her workshop so much that you wanted her to you know to come back and she's going to be here with me live and also she would be showing us a presentation that we recorded um on you know i'll let her say what it is all about but please join me in welcoming grace Iyoha. grace Hi everyone, um, it's love to be here again. Uh, I enjoyed my first session with um, with the platform, and I I want to believe that we've been learning and we've been benefiting from this climate change um, awareness workshop so far. Uh, I think it's an amazing thing to put this up because a lot of times we take for granted um, the things that we use, the things that we consume, we're not really aware of the impact in the environment. So these kind of conversations kind of help us to be more environmentally conscious and also think about how we can improve our environment. So thank you very much for having me. Yes, and together we want to just save our planet because over the course of this workshop, we've seen how you know how our activities are actually affecting the environment and ev affecting our planet. And you know we've been talking about things that we can do, ways that we can you know change our actions. Just be deliberate, be intentional to save the planet. This is what yeah. this uh, workshop is all about. And I think I've seen some people drop comments okay so champagne dreads octavia she said hello hello Lumide, hello hello champagne dreads and um we have linda who says good evening good evening please 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 help us share this video so that more people can see it and we've got more comments more good evening coming in we've got mora saying good evening good evening um Okay, thank you very much for, you know, for saying hello to us and we say good evening to you as well from wherever you're watching us. But please help us share this video and um, share this workshop so that more people can get to see it. So, that, you know, it just goes far to touch more people. Hamid Adio, good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? Hope you guys are doing great. Thank you for, you know, sharing your evening with us. I know many of you have different activities that you could have gone to myself. I've got other things that I've put on hold for this, but I feel this is very, very important because we need to work together to make sure, you know, we try and just save, save the planet and, um, you know, together for our environment. Okay. So Grace, um, I know what we're talking about today is waste management is still all about waste management is waste management related and uh in waste management i think that is where recycling comes in yeah so how excited are you to share some of the to <laughs> share some of the knowledge you, you know over the years how excited are you to share them on this platform um i mean it's something that i i don't have enough opportunity to do because it's one thing for you to be like reading all the books and learning about recycling and it's one thing also to put it into practice and break it yeah. down to the community so i'm excited for this opportunity because um it helps me to be able to well, I say paid forward. So what I've been learning, what I've been, I've had the privilege to understand, I can pass it along to somebody who it can be beneficial for. So um, it's actually with waste management, a lot of times we feel like, oh, it has to be oh, it's the community or it's the local council, it's their job. But we have to understand that we all have a role to play in keeping our environment clean because we are living in the environment. We are enjoying we're feeding from the environment that's how we live and survive so imagine if 
something happens uh, covid 19 showed us how connected we are in terms of yeah. working the environment and different people all around the world so if we take care of the earth we take care of the environment it means that we can enjoy life with our family our friends and all the beautiful things that life has to offer so waste management is um, it's not we shouldn't see it as oh one of the dirty things oh it's waste we should cast it out no there is value in waste we can um, reuse waste we can um, reduce it uh, we can recycle it so recycling is what we're talking about today so that's one aspect where um if you have the the well, how can you turn what you have as a product and extend it or give it another life where it can be useful as another resource so that's what recycling is about turning what you have into another um, product that can still be useful so that's that's um, recycling yeah, just uh, as one of the facilitators that has been on this workshop as well, uh, Mr. Sayang, he also said um, a, a a health no a a healthy a clean environment is a healthy environment. So you know, I think that just sums it up. So yeah. there's still some greetings coming on. I just want to you know, try and delay us showing this presentation a little bit just so more people can join and, you know, drop their pleasantries. Baja Agnes says, good evening, everyone. Good evening, Baja. Monica, good evening, everyone. And Iritio Falash Ade as well. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Please don't forget, guys, please just share this video and, you know, share the workshop so that more people can see it and more people can join in and it's quite easy to share if you're watching i think most people are watching watching from youtube when i look through the comments and then some on facebook so it's quite easy to share just click the share button and that should be it kalu thank you very much good evening everyone well done Olumide and grace i think the well done should be going to grace because she's the one doing all the research work making sure we get some nuggets out of this thank you so much grace thank you kalu for saying that's hello to us PhD colleague. So he knows oh okay that's your phd <laughs> colleague okay so so we have some we have some learned and some doctors in the in the building wow okay that's good that's good that's good <laughs> thank you kalu for joining us i know out of your busy schedule you've taken time to at least drop by and hopefully you know when Please, guys, if anybody also has ideas on uh, waste management, especially recycling, this is the time we want you to drop some of the things you know, some of the comments. Just let's put it in the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are around recycling and what your thoughts are around waste management. Okay, so I'll just take one second to thank the funders of this workshop, the people that have made this possible for us, you know, we're saying big thank you to the uh, Lottery Community Fund for making it possible for us to put this awareness together for our community, because I think it is great that they've done this because our community needs to know more about um, climate change and how to embrace it and what the effects are and what our actions are to be able to save the planet. Okay, so I think some comments came in there. Okay, Linda is specifically saying, okay, I think some some comments are coming for Grace now. Okay. Good good evening, Miss Grace. Yes, this were one of the people that demanded for you I to come back. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Thelma, Miss Doctor, Doctor Thelma. Yes, Doctor Thelma, thank you very much for joining us okay so today we've got some good academics in the house so please guys please share your knowledge please don't just join and say well done or hello without you know joining us in this conversation because i know you guys are very very experienced and learned in this let us know what you've embraced so far on this workshop and what you would like to you know contribute or what you want to see the community the african community do more of with regards to climate change jude Good evening, Jude. Good evening. I hope I've not missed any of these good evenings. Okay, we're going to just try and... Yeah, so I threw the floor open. I said, if you know any... What's your own thoughts around um, waste management and recycling? What do you know about waste management and recycling? We'll just 
wait a few seconds to a minute to see if the comments will come in before I show the presentation. Because once I show the presentation, I don't want to, wouldn't want to interrupt it, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, while we're waiting for people to let us know what their thoughts is on recycling, do you have anything? Yeah. Um, great? Yeah, I think that um, recycling is something that has been part of our culture or our community. If you remember, like growing up, your um, our environment, then there were always people who who sell like akara on the roadside. They always use like newspapers um, to wrap their akara. That's recycling because they are giving it a new life. Um, people who come around to collect bottles, um, you know, all those um, canned bot uh, bottles that they'll use for granuts to pack like granuts or plastic bottles that they use to prepare zobo. So it's, it's something that has been part of us as a community. I think that with uh, maybe like how we've grown, we now have like a lot of money, uh, we're now well educated, we are busy people, a lot of us are not so much conscious that okay now with so much affluence we can afford to buy a lot of things but with these things that we buy and um, also comes waste i remember the last class that we um we had where uh, i think the lady from crispex so somebody we had i was talking about oh christmas season where you know how christmas is we're buying gifts we have a lot of wrappers we're just wrapping everything opening gifts but that creates a lot of waste so we also need to be thinking about how can we Re reuse or recycle things that we have where it can be useful so like old cartons rather than throwing it away we can use them to maybe like put our books um if you don't have a bookshelf just to store things so these are the things that some of us practice without knowing that that's recycling and some of us just needs to be more conscious or go back to it so i think it's something that if we make it very accessible and useful in our everyday life we will practice it more we, we don't need to you don't need money to do some of this um recycling it's something that is within your reach even old clothes as well and um, you find out that oh somebody has like um maybe like a jeans trouser, you don't want it to be a trouser, you want to make it a short, you can cut it, and then you're, you're still using it, but you're using it a different way. So we can be very creative. I'm sure if we ask people, they can suggest how they've been recycling and doing creative things with what they have, which we expect that um, if we have knowledge of, we should please share with us. We want to learn how have you been recycling in your own house or in your own space okay talking about how, sharing knowledge or, and how they have been doing it in their own spaces dr thelma just said my mom used to use can of tin tomatoes for moi moi and moi moi is a is a i think it's, it should be west african but it's typically nigerian food isn't it yeah. and basically she, what she's saying is that her mom uses that can of tin tomato the used one to make food to prepare food so they pour the pastry into the tin and then you know that's used so that's giving that can another life another use and also don't forget that that can after the first after being used to prepare the moment to prepare the food we wash it again yes and we keep using it till till the end so at least it gives it some more life before it ends up okay i think to be honest i think the african community has really done well when it comes to recycling yeah. maybe you know Obviously, we need uh, more awareness when it comes to climate change and other activities, all, all, other, all of our other actions. But when it comes to recycling, we've really, I think we should be given accolades because we've really, you know, over the years, we've done, we've, we've played our part, even before this whole climate change thing became very global. Because as you were saying, I remember then, you can't just walk to a shop and say you want to buy Coke. You can't just buy bottle drink. You need to bring your own bottle. Yeah, you need to bring some bottle in to be able to buy a bottle, or you have to pay a deposit for you yes. to go away with that bottle. And you don't bin bottles. The first time I came to this country and I saw we were binning bottles, I was like, ah, how can you be binning these bottles? And I didn't know climate change. I didn't even know what was climate change. You understand? But I was just like, how can you be binning these bottles? So these are things that we've been doing. Uh, way back and um, I think you know the community we should just do more with regards climate change and also waste management in other sense of other waste 
I know we do recycling, we do give our clothes a different life, we do things like that. But when it comes to waste management, the managing waste itself, I think that's where we need to to step up a bit. There's um okay, so I trust our our agile audience. Recycling, in my own understanding, is collecting waste materials and separating them for cleanup, which are later produced into consumable or other new products. Grace? Yes, um, that's, that's a perfect um, example, um, depending on what product it is. So th there are different kind of products that can be recycled. Some other products, um, some people say that they can be recycled. It's just that we don't found any creative idea on what we can turn that product into. But we have um, plastics, we have um, bottles, we have newspapers or papers, we have clothes as well. And there's a lot of products that we can either um, reuse in its form, how it is, we just put it to a, a, a different use, or we can um, we make into another product. So, like some bottles, sometimes some of these um, bottle companies, they'll collect the bottles and crush them and use them to produce another new bottle again. So, yes, her definition is um, spot on as well. Okay, so we also have we have a funny one. Um, I'll let me flash this up before the next definition. So, Jude said, I used to sell carton, like he used to, so it's kind of like rec recycling. So cartons, newspapers, as you suggested, as you mentioned earlier on, he sells them to who's going to reuse it. And um, yeah. these are people that I think they use it for the suya to sell food. So people that need those paper to do, to create another thing, maybe artists or stuff like that. So papers in your house, you can resell them, or if you're in an environment where they don't really resell, you can give it out as donation. You can take your old books to libraries. You know, you can you can give it to somebody else that that would appreciate it. You can take it to schools, primary schools, and you know, people would people would read it. Okay, don't let me miss what Mora said here. Waste management refers to the various schemes to manage and dispose of waste. It can be by discarding, destroying processing, recycling, reusing, or controlling usable materials. Yes, yes. Grace, what do you have to say? Yes, it is. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a good definition as well. Um, I think when we in the when we're thinking about climate change, um, the later part of the first part of the um, the definition that says discarding, destroying. Let's not have that as a mindset as the first thing we want to do let's think more of the other side of recycling reuses or controlling controlling means reducing so if you are able to reduce how you produce it then that's perfect but yes yeah, so, so there are some materials that you just cannot do but uh, discarding yes we understand that so uh, but we should think of how we can recycle it or reuse it that's how we'll be able to um help the planet and look at how we discard it so it's not just discarded yeah. like just dumping it away and yeah. all that so yes brilliant definition but just be mindful of a few words there or how you actually um carry out those those words there and um yes kalu reminded me of this one i was going to say it earlier on when um grace was talking about newspapers yes we used to use it to wrap our book so that you, you know your book will be well preserved we don't we you know so that at least if you have a textbook you can wrap it with old news old um, calendar yeah. and that way the hard cover of the textbook still remains intact for years and this is something i don't see people doing anymore as you said grace maybe because people have now you know the economic condition is now has now improved you just buy a book and you, you're not thinking of because then the books used to be passed down yes yes the books true. used to be passed down and then i think this is where government as well needs to help they need to they need to step in as well because changing of educational syllabus every time means some books okay this set maybe in the next two three years you are recommending another kind of book so we have to be buying a different kind of book. This is where they need to stabilize this kind of thing so that at least for years. So when the first child buys this book, we wrap it with the with the, um, the calendar. old newspaper or old calendar. That way, the second, third, 
they can use it your cousins you can give it because yeah. i remember then we used to get books from different places and you know you will see the names different yeah. names of pass down different names of pass like, down his comment just kind of took me way way back like i'm just like oh my god how many years ago is that because people don't do it anymore you don't see yeah. people wrapping books anymore and that is why our you know our the whole books and our spaces are just filled with things we dump away. This is what we need to bring back. These are the cultures we need to bring back. And, you know, let the young ones that are seeing this know that you can still wrap your book. Your book will remain intact for years. You know, it just avoids all those cuts and tears on the hardcover because you wrap it around. I think we'll do a demonstration of how to wrap textbook later on down the line so that people can, because I think it's a good, good thing to bring back um okay i just i want to try not to miss because i think the comments are dropping really quick addressing so linda yes addressing environmental and energy issues from various angles specifically oh okay maybe that might be a continuation of what she yeah. said earlier on so probably i've missed it but maybe again linda of maybe what the community can do after this because they okay or increase diversity in the environmental movement so maybe something that we can take forward even after this conversation is something yes yes yeah. okay um i think amid adieu recycling is the process of converting waste materials into new materials and objects the recovery of energy from waste material is often included in this concept grace yes yeah, that's um, perfect. Um, the recycle recy recovery of energy from waste. You see what I talked about last the last time. I talked about food waste. How aside from getting like compost from it, they can also extract um, uh, methane that can be used to create energy. So it's that's another way of recycling. Yeah, it, the food waste you're giving it a new life where you can get compost from it. You can also get energy from it. So that is a very good um, definition. Thank you, Amir. Okay, and then um, I think still coming from Ahmed, but let me quickly take Mora before I drop Ahmed's own. An example that I've seen is using old clothes as rags to clean the floor or things around the house, giving it a new life. What do you think, Grace? Yeah, yes, I mean, instead of buying a mop, because you have spent money <laughs> to buy a mop, so you might as well use what you have. And that means you're spending less money and um, you're not buying as much products that we keep buying and buying and buying every time. So yeah, that can be, it's not like one of the best examples, but it can be an example. Yeah, and, and a little secret is that, see the old um, towels, they actually mop the floor much better than than the mop sticks. They yeah. like, if you're into cleaning your floor, I think the old towels, towels that you would have thrown away, if you just turn them to, they actually do a great job great it's job. just that you know you might need to now have to bend down so yes, you know exactly. if you're able to bend down then i think yes um so let me quickly bring back amid recycling prevents the emission of many greenhouse gases and water pollutants and saves energy using recovered material generates less solid waste yes what do you um I think the fact that um, because you're recycling something, it doesn't have to be produced again. So that's like one less bottle to be manufactured because the bottle is still being used to serve. Um, so like a plastic bottle that after the drinking water, they use it to sell Zobo and then they wash it for and use it for something else. The energy and the emissions that they use to create another bottle one bottle is still in the system, still doing its job. So uh, that's how you can reduce emission because you're giving the product a new life. It's been still used in, they call it like a loop, being useful around um, production and consume and consuming as well. Okay. I think it's five, five hours, isn't it? Five hours of recycling. Is it five or six? Um, it used to be three. I think it has increased to five. I'm not it sure. It has increased to five. Okay. To is, but I know that there's reduce, there's reuse and recycle. So those are the like consistent trees. So if you are, okay, and then there, there, and then there's I think the reuse uh, has now been expanded to like repurpose. Oh right, okay. 
so they're still reuse mm -hmm. but then so reuse is when okay i think sometimes reuse uh, they, they might come together so like the case of the tin tomato cans yeah. and moi moi so that yeah. is reuse yeah. but then yeah you first repurpose and then you keep reusing exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah so i think that's where repurpose came in okay so that means it's four but i think in a way it's gone to five i'll do my research again and um hopefully drop it along the line somewhere i think it's time for us to do the presentation to show the presentation guys okay. but there's still some some definitions here i think coming from Ureti. recycling is the process of converting on used product to something new and extend the lifespan Fantastic. Instead of taking it to the landfill, and uh, where that which ends the lifespan is still being used and it's it still continues to be valuable. So that that's a very good um, definition. Please, everybody, I need you. To, I need a big favor from you. Please just press the share button, like the the workshop, and share it. The reason I want you to share is so that more people will see. Because I can see that as you've been sharing there's more people coming on. So please, we just want as many people to see it, to see and be able to learn from this. Um, so recycling is the process of converting waste materials into new materials and objects. And the last one, patience is saying good evening. Good evening. Okay, so we're gonna show a presentation now, but please don't, you know, this is the time you, we want you to please help us share the video so that people can see this presentation. And also, at the end of the presentation, we'll come back with questions. And, you know, if you guys have questions or if you have anything you want to ask Grace directly, uh, please feel free at the end of the presentation. So, Grace, what do you, should I? Um, yeah, I, I think, I don't know whether we should give them an idea of what the presentation is or just allow them to find out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I mean, I can talk about the presentation. So okay. uh, we wanted to have like a workshop or a practical uh, way of recycling. And we, we focused on our old clothes. Um, so, you know, we have these clothes. Um, there are some of our clothes that we love. We can wear it all the time. And then there are some things you buy and then you be like, oh, I really like this. And most times they stay in your cupboard and... You, sometimes you give it out, which is good. We should um, be able to share, um, especially what we're not using. And um, sometimes it's just the accumulated dust. So we, um, we're, this the, um, workshop is showing how we can recycle an old gene. So there are different ideas um, um, that you can use. But this particular one, we turned an old gene to an apron. So because I am a fashion designer and I sew, I kind of have a way of... Um, just doing some of this project but it's something that you don't need expertise for it's something that as long as you have a scissors if you have a sewing machine or if you know how to hand stitch it's something that you can do and um, if you have any other ideas of maybe something you've done or maybe you've turned one of your other your old clothes into something useful please feel free to share in the comments so that we can take it up after the um, presentation so basically the presentation is repurposing giving new life to something that you would have either just kept somewhere accumulating dust or you would have ended up throwing in the bin so without wasting too much time please join us and then at the end we'll take questions or if you have any other thing as grace said that you've done on your own time please let us know Everyone, this is the climate change um, training, and we just want to teach everyone how to recycle their um, used or old clothes. Um, we have like old jeans, old tops that we throw away, old bed sheets that we throw away. But this class will just be showing us a little idea of how to turn your old jeans into an apron. So we hope it's going to be informative and simple enough for you to try out and uh, just follow us along. So what I'll be doing is this particular jeans, I will be using the back side of the jeans and also other parts of the jeans as well in making the project. So I will first start by cutting out the side of the jeans. So you need to have a scissors that is sharp enough. Yeah, I'm hoping that this, my scissors is sharp. 
given the fact that it is thick in size so i'll just gently trying to follow the scissors okay so let me make this flat so that you can see and then i'm cutting it gently again remembering that our jeans is thick in size or fabric so you want to cut up until you get to the crotch part of your jeans and there i would cut it straight remember that for this project any old jeans is sufficient enough um, it doesn't have to be new and that's the point of recycling things that you would have thrown away ideally you're going to use it to recreate a new project so i'm gently cutting out just the back part especially because it has the pockets and i need the pockets to use for my apron so I'll cut this other side as well gently because it is thick. I should have bought a sharp scissors for this part. Oh well, I'm making progress. Right, so this is the back part. So I need this. Um, because of the crotch, it has um, a little bit of fold here. So I will try to smoothen it by making a little snipe here. Just a little cut. And then I would sew this flat. So that gives it a flat um, base for me to work with. So the next thing I will be doing is to use this tiny pieces of cotton fabric um, you can get them from your old bed sheets or old pillowcases or old cotton tops and I will use that to create like a border around um, my fabric my jeans I'll use them just to smoothen these edges with my sewing machine so this project can be done using a hand needle at home if you don't have a sewing machine you can use a hand needle be aware that it's jeans so you need like a very um big needle but yes it can also be achieved using it can also be achieved using hand needle if you don't know how to if you don't have a sewing machine at home so i have um different lengths or widths of um fabric so this one is um basically three inches and this other one is two inches. So I'm going to be using two inches for this border. I'm going to be using this other one that is three inches to do the rope that will be the apron at the bottom. And then I have a much wider piece. So let's check how many inches this is we would put all these dimensions on the video this is five inches so i'm going to be using this to just make little frills at the border of my apron so just to give it like a little bit of creativity remember all these things can be used from your old clothes that you have at home right so let's get to work i'm going to be cutting the upper part of the apron and i will just use um this side of the leg so i would okay and then same here as well i'll cut a straight line so i'm I'm actually not measuring, but this is something that you can just freestyle at home. You don't have to be an expert in sewing. Um, remember that it's an old jeans. You want to just reuse it. So don't be scared to um, make a mistake or use your scissors to cut as you wish. So I would separate the inseam of the leg. So this is just like the side. I would open up this one.
right so because this has like um, a little bit of design here i'll just cut it out because i don't want that design i'm just trying to reduce the length cutting out any excess part i don't want Okay, so this is going to form the top part of my apron. So I would use it like this and finish the edges with this fabric before putting my connecting um, the tie neck at the top. So we're going to get onto the sewing machine and walk you the, through the process. But basically, these are the two pieces we need. So this one was from the bottom of the, um, the jeans, the back of the jeans, where the pockets are. So we need the pockets because sometimes aprons have pockets in front. And this is just um, a part of the leg. I'm just opening it up to be able to connect these two together. So let's get sewing. Okay, so welcome to my workspace. Um, this is just a table top sewing machine, nothing fancy. Um, anyone you have at your home will do. Remember also that if you have a um, hand needle, you can use your hand needle perfectly. So it's not a problem at all. So the first things first, this part, we want to connect them together. So basically what I'm going to be doing is to make a stitch just to lay this fabric flat. So what I'm doing is I'm just connecting one layer of the fabric to the other. So there's like a tiny razor here. Um, it's not every sewing machine that has it. Most sewing machine has it. But if not, I'll use my scissors just to cut out any excess thread. So you can see that this is now flat. Um, it's exactly what I want it to be. I can turn this other side and cut out the excess fabric. Okay. Right, so what I would do is this thin size of fabric that we, are, we can cut from our bed sheet or pillowcase, I'm just going to use it to finish these edges so that we won't have all this um, thread sticking out. So I'll turn the back and attach I'm just going to sew the fabric on my jeans This is, I'll just cut out any excess um, threads that I have. So what I want to do is to fold this and use it to make like an edge around the fabric. So I'll be doing that as well with my sewing machine and with the help of pins. So I can just pin what I have together. So you can see that our apron is already coming together and then the choice of fabric is giving it a nice touch. Finish this edge as well. Okay, so take it back to the sewing machine and so make sure that as you're sewing, you take off your pins so that it doesn't break the needle. We use the same 
same fabric and sew this side. So once you start sewing, you back stitch because you want it to be tight and you don't want the stitches to pull out. the same steps here I'll just fold the edges and keep it a nice finish hold it down with my pins still repeating the same process I did on the other side okay so let's take it back so Okay, so we're done with this bit. I use my scissors to cut this out and cut this other side as well. Okay, so yeah, getting there. So what I'm going to do is to use a larger fabric to just do some gathered frills by this end. And I'm going to be using this fabric for it so basically what I'm going to be doing is to have a gathered effect at this bottom for my apron so the first thing we need to do is to fold the bottom nicely doing is I'm just hemming the edges going to be using these stitches to make my gathers effect so basically what I did was to just um, run straight stitches through and then I will pull the stitches together um, I mean if you're using hand needle all you just need to do is to make big um, stitches across and then you once you pull the thread it will give you the gathered effect so nothing fancy you don't need to have an expertise in sewing to be able to do gathers all you just need to do is run stitch through without uh, making it tight and then you pull the thread and then it gives you the gathered effect so i'll just keep pulling it pull it together and then use it for What I have is just simple straight stitch going all through the length of the fabric. Let me take this other side and pull. So I just pick one edge of the, of the thread and then pull it. it then it gives me the gather. So 
open up this part as well. So at this point, I want to check just to see how much I need, how much more I need. So I still need a bit more. So I'll still keep pulling. Just sewing the gathers to the um, top of our apron. Okay, so we're done with the bottom half of our apron. So all we need is to sew the top part and connect it to this. So what I'll be doing for the top part is the same thing I did. I'm going to be using the tiny pieces of fabric to finish this edge and also finish this edge as well and then the top as well as to um, make the belt that I'm going to use at the top and then basically that's my apron I mean this is a very simple project it's not supposed to take you up to 30 minutes to do it's really really simple and straightforward so I will start with the top So we're doing the same thing we did for the edges of the bottom part. We just want to finish it with this fabric. Done with the top half. So what I did was the piece of fabric that I used to finish this edge, I'm just um, using it in a continuous um, stretch up until this other side as well. So I will just finish the sewing. Make sure that your pins are out so that it doesn't affect what you're working on. And just to say that this fabric I'm using for the neck tie is a bit wider than what I've been using for the other sides just to give it a bit of thickness and then I'll finish the side of the That's the sound of a sewing machine that is stressed because of the texture of our fabric. Okay, so this is how the top half is and we're just going to connect it to the bottom. You can see how our apron is coming out nicely. Okay, so I'll just use pins to secure. Secure them together and then run the stitch. Okay, so once I'm happy that everything looks Okay, then I would run it through the sewing machine.
Okay, my apron has been connected to the bottom bit, so that's basically the end of our project. So the only thing that I have done is I have also made a belt which we're going to use as a tie. So I will just insert it into this belt hole. Remember that the belt hole is automatically from the jean, so it's just very convenient for us and I will use that as a tie for my apron. So I'm going to wear the apron so that you have an idea of how it looks as it is finished. So this is our finished apron. This is me wearing it over my head and I will just tie the belt behind me. So yes, this is a very simple project that you can try out at home and I would love you to give us feedback on how it went. It should be a simple project. Any questions at all, I'll be happy to assist. But yes, this is my apron. I can always put maybe like my phone in my pocket. I, I mean, your own jeans will be different in terms of the size of the pocket. But feel free to play with fabrics that you already have at home. So the jeans that you have, um, you can also use um, old bed sheets or pillowcases or any cotton t-shirts that you have, like your long sleeve t-shirts, you can use it to get the fabrics that we we'll use at the edge. So that is all for today. And thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Okay, okay, that was that was fantastic. In fact, I really, I really enjoyed that. And um, you know, watching it again, I think makes me feel like converting so many things around the house. <laughs> Okay, before we, uh, let's take some comments. I think some, you know, there were delays in some comments coming on before the presentation. So, um, Ago, I th your comment is talking about food. So she says, very interesting topic. Food waste management has been a challenge over time. This awareness will sure help enlighten people on how to manage food waste by turning them into organic fertilizer using food waste recycling machine and other things. Yes, and I, uh, I think our fourth workshop was on food waste management around the house. So please try and go back to that video. It should be the fourth workshop. It will be somewhere on this channel and you will see how um, Grace has, you know, talked us deep into how we could manage our, uh, uh, our food waste. Isa Ajarat, recycling is recovery and reprocessing waste materials for use in new product thank you yep yeah. grace yeah <laughs> so good um definition good. Yeah. yeah and i think dj yankee amazing knowledge thank you very much dj yankee i think that should be going to grace because thank you Recycling is the process of converting waste material into new material or object. Grace? Yes, it is. Thank you. And we've got, yeah, we've got somebody, I think, probably delaying um, the comments dropping or she's just joining. Balogun. Good evening. Good evening, Balogun. Jude. Wow, this is awesome. The way you recycle my old clothes is by dyeing or applying chemical dye to the clothes and it becomes new again yes 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 i think that was our third workshop uh we did a workshop on recycling i mean on tie and dye the which is still recycling as well upscaling upscaling i think that's yeah. that's now you know things like that so thank you jude yeah thanks for letting us know that you do that as well amazing stuff that should be going to grace thank you mora patience is saying all i can say is wow the finish makes it yeah i think the you know we're saying that to you as well when you were making it like i was like how did you did you actually sit down to select the, no. <laughs> the material you used for the finishing but Everything i think it just right. comes it comes with your dna as a fashion designer 
you've got eyes for such a thing but what i want to encourage people is don't wait to you know don't say oh it, i need to have a perfect finish just know that the whole thing is be creative we want you to just recycle more more and more repurpose reuse stuff so that's the most important thing not uh don't focus too much on the aesthetics <laughs> by the way that apron is for sale I'm, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> highest bidder <laughs> oh i God. okay patience i hope i won't end up converting my sister's dresses <laughs> okay <laughs> monica chile this is so amazing i'm sure I'm going to try yes please sh you. try it um even after this video after the workshop we want people to still keep trying this kind of you know things and also come back any other time drop comments just say oh i've tried it you know if you can post picture of it on facebook tag us and um i'm you know myself or grace would be happy to see what you guys have done please the um the line is open for questions i mean you can throw in questions if you have any questions around that um i'm putting grace on the hot seat now but nice. i'm sure you know these are things that we can always even if it's not even if we don't have the answer to it we can always do research and come back grace is a research student and i think you're going to end up with phd isn't it yes augusta so <laughs> yes she will be happy to take on your questions and if she can't answer she will add it to her research she's currently doing research in the glasgow caledonia university right yes yes, yes. yes. so top top one top one wow i love that stuff that is coming from hamid Adil. i think somebody's trying to call probably with regards to this product uh, project but please thank you hamid i might not be able to take calls now yeah so grace anything to add i know we've hit one hour so you know we can always round up here but if people just have comments or questions uh maybe we should delay be one more minute to delay just so that you know the comments drop because i know it's coming via internet and it could technical issues sometimes or data and all that could affect okay cool a comment just dropped okay the explanation is really detailed all i can say is thank you miss grace thank you thank you patience thank you patience. yes um, please let grace know how amazing she has been on these workshops she's been really really helpful she's you know taking us on journeys that has helped us to understand better things that we can do to save the planet questions <laughs> um i mean i i feel like First of all, watching myself on the video, I found found it very weird because I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I, it just came to my mind that I, I actually need to put myself out there more digitally, like some of the projects I do, kind of capture it and upload it on YouTube or Facebook or something so that people um, learn from it. I usually like um, teach small groups in the community, but uh, for people who are not um, who are online, I can't be in my community like in glasgow for the projects i hold um they can see some of these things online and learn from it so it's a good thought it's something that i can um i mean since people are saying i did well i didn't i didn't do too bad so I can <laughs> and post more of these videos Thank yes you yes you should and um i think we can always collaborate more to do yeah. you know to do more more of this kind of stuff okay so um I'm just trying to delay okay yeah thank you very much isa ajara has dropped the comment please quickly try and drop your comments so as you know we can grace can answer your questions or you know just have a bit more conversation for another uh, one minute so that you know we can round up because i know people have things to do it's saturday evening people want to party they want to go see friends or families isa ajara has just said wow this is so beautiful i'm definitely going to try this please do try it please tag us post pictures grace is on facebook you can tag her and you know she'll be happy to see it. i'll be more than happy to see it i would love to see it so i can add it to this project uh now no no condemnation for my old jean clothes yeah. yes please no more condemnation <laughs> the way and, I do. 
so many ideas that you can turn your jeans to a bag. Like there's so much that you can do. It's when you realize that there's potential with your old clothes, that's when this idea starts to flow. But if you just see it as condemned, you need to go to the bean and you will never really think there's something can be um, made out of it. So um, I, I like the spirit. I like the fact that people are benefiting from it and we hope that you take it forward and come up with creative ideas. I want to learn from you as well. So if you're like, oh, Grace, why don't you try this? I'm, I'm happy to um, explore that idea. So thank you. So my question is, does it have to be jeans? Because I noticed so, yeah. Okay, one person said dress, and then I noticed somebody say my uh, my old jeans. But does it have to be jeans, or no, it could it be? Yeah, it doesn't have to be jeans. I, I just worked with um, what I basically had. I think maybe because in the UK we wear jeans a lot, and then um, jeans can be very funny after a while. It starts getting um, very frayed. So um, it was just the first thing I had on ground. But no, it doesn't have to be jeans. I think when I was even looking at, so you see the way I cut the the um just the back side i i was just thinking oh if i had just cut it around i could actually turn that into a skirt and i just added that you see what i put around the edge like that that could have been a short skirt after my jean trouser so there are so many ideas um uh, some people already cut their trousers okay short. i'll take you up on that one i'll take you up on that one uh for our future projects i'll take you up on that one so guys watch our hat turn your jeans into a mini skirt mini a short skirt right yeah, it's a skirt. Yeah. so watch out for that one later on and i think patience actually said we are waiting for more of it okay Thank you, yes, Vision. the end product is superb. All thanks to Grace. All thanks Thank to you. her sharing her knowledge. And um, yes, so this is this is where we would wrap things this evening. Except Grace, do you have anything to add? But. Um, no, I just want to say thank you very much for following us all through this journey. Um, Olumide, thank you very much for what you're doing. And if you didn't get the sponsorship, then what, this wouldn't have been possible. So thank you as well to the sponsors. And for any, anybody else who would watch this video, I hope you benefit something from it. So thank you very much. Thank you very much, everybody. And um, until we have another workshop tomorrow, I'll bring another workshop on for you guys tomorrow and that one as well it's about recycling and you know how to convert you know it's still recycling repurposing and you know grace i just want to say big thank you thank you for coming thank you for sharing your knowledge and thank you for impacting us positively i want to encourage more people to please sign up for things like this and also share your knowledge within the community big thank you to the lottery players big thank you to community lottery community fund for sponsoring this project and until next time, until the tomorrow, around this time, about 5.30, I'll be saying bye-bye. See you all. Thanks. <laughs>